And the Perot Museum of Nature and Science is known for its hands-on exhibits that inspire inquisitive minds of all ages. And in this week's Discover DFW, Madison found out there's always something new to explore at the Perot. Being inspired starts right when you step inside the Perot Museum of Nature and Science. Our iconic building, the ride up the glass escalator into the jaws of the T-Rex is something that people absolutely remember. There are 11 different science galleries to explore, all of which are hands-on and interactive. But be sure to check out the Paleo Lab. Our real scientists are working every day inside that lab on our fourth floor. People can come and see fossils as they're being uncovered, as they're being prepared. The museum also welcomes traveling exhibitions, and right now you can explore the science of Guinness World Records. This exhibition is really like a big science arcade, to be honest, and everything is hands on and interactive. By trying to break the record yourself. We know that kids learn um, when they're doing things, not just reading things or listening. This is a great way to learn about science. I tried to break the cup stacking world record. Which the kids are doing much better, I think. Much better than me. Um, and we're timing you to see if you can beat the world's record, which you're not even I close. I did not get close, but <laughs> it was fun. And educational. Okay, now watch what you're supposed to do. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Proof that science is all around us. We really feel that we have a responsibility to help build the workforce pipeline for North Texas. And that's why the Perot wants to make sure that learning extends beyond the museum's physical building. We've got our tech truck fleet, which is going out into the community, serving people who might not be able to come to the museum itself. And then we've also got virtual programs online, again, reaching people beyond North Texas or people who might not be ready to come back into a public space yet. Over the past two years, the museum has actually worked to transition into a bilingual organization. Now, right now, about 20% of their labeled copy is in both English and Spanish, but they have plans to expand it. And they also have staff and volunteers on site who speak multiple languages to help everyone enjoy and explore the museum. By the way, Karen, they do offer some discounts on tickets for people especially enrolled in state or federal assistance programs because they want the museum to be something that everyone can enjoy. So those tickets, for that program are just $1 for general admission. Well, that's a great way to do it, Madison. Thank you.